No need to sweat, Gymshark Sweat Collection review is here. Finally, finally, coming at you with the Gymshark Sweat Collection. I know it's been a minute. This video was highly requested. I didn't know if you guys would still want it, especially since it's been out for a little bit, but in one of my last YouTube videos, I actually asked you guys if you'd like to still see the sweat review. The consensus was very clear to me. You guys wanted this review. So here I am today, giving you all the details of the sweat collection. Now, if you're unfamiliar, it's an official collection, not one of those one hit wonder collections. If you go to Gymshark's website, hover over the women's tab, it's official, sweat is there. It's making itself known. So with that being said, I've already heard a ton of feedback from you guys. A lot of you are digging this collection. But I've also heard some of you say that there's certain aspects of this range you just can't get behind, literally, like the back of the leggings. We're gonna get into that. And you know how I do, I always try to take these pieces to the gym, and that I did. I tested out a set at the gym, did a full-fledged workout, so I have a lot to say. But before we hop into it, if you are not already, please, please do consider subscribing to this channel. We do a ton of Gymshark videos. And if you do find my Gymshark review videos helpful, please do consider shopping through my Gymshark affiliate link helps out my relationship with Gymshark, keeping it strong, healthy, and nice so that we can keep these videos coming your way. Everything you see in today's video is already released and linked down below for your convenience. So they launched shorts in this range. I got one in salsa red to match this bra and fluo lime. Now I know what you're thinking, Ash, whoa, fluo, what? Yeah, but you know what? When they come out with like the real unique brights, you know I gotta get my hands on it because come summer next year, I'm gonna regret not getting this. The salsa red, I've been asked if this is a true red and I would say yes, it's in the true red family palette without a doubt. So salsa red, I'm gonna go ahead and say is my favorite color out of the bunch. I like it more than I anticipated. At first when I saw it, I was like, yeah, is it? Is it that great? <laughs> It's pretty great, I love it. It could actually be a really pretty Christmassy color too. When it comes to sports bras, I have the salsa red that I'm wearing, black, and the fluo lime for the leggings. I didn't go with the bright reds or anything. I wanted to keep it dark for the season. So I have the black and I have the baked maroon. It's back, you guys, it's back. This baked maroon they came out with for the Vital, I believe, and it is such a pretty unique color for the fall because it's a mixture of brown and purple. It's almost got that cherry color to it, but it could really be a nice October, November legging. In black, I have the midi vest. This is not a bra, there's no padding, no built-in bra whatsoever, but it is a nice little vest you could put over if you wanna add a little bit more coverage. Keep in mind they did also launch a couple of cooler tones. We have two different types of teal, winter teal and rich teal. So now that we got the colors and pieces out of the way, I wanted to talk about the design before we hop into the try on. So let's check out the design of this legging. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say this right here right now. I get a lot of questions with every single Gymshark video. The main question is, okay, what is this new collection most like? In my semi-professional opinion. <laughs> when I was feeling it, putting it on, touching it, moving around in it, I kept thinking the energy. Remember the energy? I felt the energy. I did some comparison on the tags. I looked at the material. They are nearly, nearly identical, almost down to the percent. So keep that in mind. They're not the same thing, but they are very close. The sweat collection's actually made out of a new material. So new to Gymshark, it's called the Dynamic. It's powered by Sensil Nylon 66. So I looked it up because I didn't know what the hell that meant. <laughs> so it turns out Nylon 66, 6.6, .6, is the highest quality man-made fiber, which gives it its durability and its luster. You can definitely feel it here. Like this is a very thick, durable material. Wearing it to the gym, it just felt like, wow, this is gonna last me some time. This is also a very breathable legging. You have a bunch of the eyelet designs going down the leg. This is why it's kind of similar to the energy. You know, the eyelets, they're huge. This is a much more microscopic mini version of that. <laughs> a lot more breathable than the energy, I would say. So even though it's different, it still feels relatively similar. When it comes to the bras, you're looking at a V-neck. Gymshark likes to do a scoop V-neck. So it's not a sharp V, it's a nice scoopy V. They also did a semi back thong. When they came out with the training V-neck, it looked similar to this, where it had the back thong, but a little bit longer. So they kind of did a half back thong, and I'll take it. Totally non-adjustable, but you do have removable bra pads. I have to say, I think the shorts are some of my favorite pieces in this collection. You know, I'm not really much of a shorts gal, but they nailed it with these shorts. I'm actually a huge fan of the length. 
These are in a size medium. I did size up and they're about a five inch inseam. You know I like that. Five to six inches, that's my happy spot. That's what she said. So I have my leggings in my true size small and the sports bra my true size small. Now, I was sent a medium in the sports bras, the other ones by accident, so we're gonna try that on later and compare sizing. So on Gymshark's website, when you look at the pieces, it actually says, note, size up. I don't agree with that. <laughs> I have to say that first and foremost with the sizing, I would say it's very true to size. If, and only if, you're in between, then I would suggest sizing up because you do have a decent amount of compression. Not as compressive as I thought though. Just from the reviews and what people were saying, I thought this was gonna be really compressive. Not the case. I'm definitely feeling like I've had more compressive Gymshark leggings in my day, for real. Look at this band. I mean, there's not a whole ton of stretch. So the band itself has a decent amount of compression. If you're somebody who prefers lower tummy compression, that's where I think this particular band would be super helpful. Because of the curvature of it, I think it offers a good amount of coverage and support in this area. If you look closely, you do have a three tier tapered look on the band. Kind of giving me alpha lead vibes on the structure a little bit. In fact, I would say it's pretty similar in terms of the compression, like alpha lead amplify, except this band is a lot thicker. You do have a nice thick band, a lot of thick material. This legging has a hole, very thick. Not a ton of stretch though. Look at that, not a whole lot going on there. Now, before you say anything, I'm well aware this does not match. Don't judge me. I wanted to throw on the baked maroon legging so it's a little bit easier to see the backside when I talk about it. What you've been hearing from everywhere is the weird back contouring. There's a couple weird things going on back here. It's a little spooky, it's a little haunted. You have the band going low in the front and the back. I don't totally love it going low in the back. So we're gonna start with that. When the band dips in the back, I'm noticing on me, this is just me, that it can cause some bunching and gathering of this thick material right below the band where my glutes are sitting, like right above the glutes. It's slightly unflattering because you've got that little bit of bunching. Like, especially when I do a pose. <laughs> that glute pose makes that happen. I noticed that when I was working out in the gym. See what I mean? So there's a little bit of funny business going on back here. I noticed too when I was on the leg extension machine, how my gym is set up is my leg extension machine is right in front of a mirror, which is great because I'm sitting and I can see how the piece is looking while sitting. So much thick wrinkle going on here. Now I know that's normal with leggings. You get that with the Amplify, you get it with anything. But I did notice with this thick material, if you don't get the right size, you will see gathering, especially because this material is so stinking thick. That is why I don't believe you should size up, <laughs> unless you're in between. That is why I say that, because I'm just trying to help you out. So back to the behind area. If you look closely, there's a thong-like contour on the glutes, right in between, as if you're wearing underwear and a sheer ass legging. I don't know what the deal is with that. I really wish, I was trying, I struggled to figure out what good this could bring to the legging. <laughs> My mind went to, okay, well maybe it helps with the curvature to help you look like you're wearing a scrunch. Not it. Maybe it helps with breathability. Maybe this is a different material, a little different texture, so it adds a little breathability on your ass crack so that if you sweat back there, it helps. Not it. I simply don't know the motive behind that. I gotta keep it real. It does look like you're wearing panties underneath your legging. Now I know we're all trying to not have that going on, but Gymshark, I guess, is just doing a 180. I think it's Kim Kardashian's behind this. She started the trend of wearing that whole outline underwear thing, wearing it on the outside. Now I'm starting to see brands like Buff Bunny, for example, their Undead collection, they have a whole legging where it looks like the outside is your underwear. I think that's the trend we are just facing now, ladies. Is it too soon? Are we just not ready for it? But my personal opinion, you either gotta be super abrupt like Buff Bunny, like let it be known, like look at this scene, this looks like underwear, I'm going for that look. Not so subtle like this. This is subtle enough to not be seen. It just seems like a mistake. <laughs> Now, hopefully Gymshark, there's some motive behind. Maybe this really does do something. I just can't figure out what that is. In terms of sheerness in the gym, it looks pretty good, totally acceptable. In this crazy lighting I have going on, not totally squat proof. By only a couple of degrees, it's definitely passable, especially because it's thick. I don't think you're gonna have much of an issue. Doesn't help that it looks like you're wearing a thong underneath. That just kind of threw me off. I thought, I was like, oh, I, it's definitely sheer. Oh wait, no, that's the contour they put there. Oops. We are going to do a sweat test on the sweat collection. Let's do this. Gotta shake the water, you know? Ooh. 
Okay. I don't think we're gonna have an issue with this dark legging. Now, like I said before, this new nylon fabric they're using is meant to be ultra wicking, which is why it's called the Sweat Collection. This collection you're meant to sweat in and it helps you out big time. Let's see, 12 sprays and it's looking pretty good. I mean, granted this is a darker color, but wow, dry as a bone. This absorbed the sweat right off my skin. And I'm not even, yeah, wow. That's impressive. This, they did it. <laughs> they did it with this legging. So this sports bra is a little tricky for a few reasons. So this is my true size small. First thing I notice is it fits great. Like boobs look amazing, all's good. It's right here, this band that's non-adjustable unfortunately. This band is super tight. I really don't, I don't like that because if I tried to wear this all day, I'd be itching right here. So that's the only downfall. It's such a flattering sports bra. I love the backing, everything's perfect. I mean, you can't go wrong, it's just this area. So sizing up, we're about to do right now to show you what a medium would be like. Front looks great, this is so tight. We're gonna do the boob test now to see if they hang out. You guys ready? All right, come on. Very good. Wow, this screen is an eye catcher, I love it. So the top and bottom are both in a medium. Some pros to sizing up in the bra, not as much of a dig, a lot more comfortable in this region. It still holds the girls intact, but I noticed that sizing up adds a little bit of unwanted extra material right below the boobs. So that's the only downfall is the extra material. If you have bigger busts to fill this out, you might not have that issue. Sizing up still maintains that sense of flattery, but if you go like this, whoo, might slip a nip. So just be careful of that. Sizing up's iffy. If I had to choose, I'd probably, honestly, if I'm working out in it, I'd stick to my true size small. If I just wanna wear it for all day comfort and nothing else, maybe I would size up to a medium. In terms of the shorts, I always size up in tight fit shorts because I don't like cinching. That's my biggest pet peeve. So sizing up to a medium, I definitely lost some compression, but it's not terrible. It's not like there's any gaping or anything going on here. I'm overall glad I sized up because I love the way this is laying on my thighs. But there's always a downfall of the sizing up, am I right? You can see a little bit of that excessive wrinkling right around the groin area. I knew that would happen. Dang that fluo lime. So pretty, but definitely not totally squat proof. My gut was telling me it wouldn't be, and I was right. I'm also noticing that the sweat collection, even as compressive as it is, it's not cellulite friendly. I noticed it in the gym when wearing the full length dark leggings. I saw it. I was like, well, there it is. And I'm even noticing it in the shorts. I'm seeing the dimples and things like that, which is all good, but I have to make mention of that because word going around is that these are really compressive. To be honest, I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. It, they're not nearly as compressive as I thought they would be. The vest is a great way to add some coverage to this set, especially if you're not too keen on such a revealing bra. This is a really nice higher neck coverage bra, a midi. So it's not necessarily a crop, comes a little bit lower, definitely covers your rib cage. And you can tell right here, if you look closely, just from me holding it up, you can see how it cinches in near the waist area. Gives a really nice cinched look around the waist, gives you some curves. It's not a boxy top. This midi crop top is very well done for a few reasons. This is a really nice body fit top. You have the real thick rib going across your rib cage, rib on rib. <laughs> nice high coverage, allows more space to add in those eyelet designs. So if you look closely, it goes right down the chest. Almost like a T design, very pretty. I actually really appreciate that it doesn't dig into my armpits. It's a big deal, especially when I'm wearing a tank. The backing is where it's at. You can even see that bra poking right through, look at that. This feels like the same material as the rest of the sets. So if you're looking for that dense, thick material, this would be it. I'm wearing a size small, very true to size. If you're in between, I would suggest sizing up because this is so body fit and to avoid any potential cinching right here. So if this is too tight, I wouldn't want like a muffin top to form. So I would size up if you're in between. All right guys, so that concludes today's Gymshark sweat review. What the heck are our thoughts? Please comment down below. I know a lot of you already have these sets. I think there's a ton of great qualities about this range. A couple things I kinda don't understand and can't get behind. But nevertheless, that's just me and my opinion. But nevertheless, definitely don't forget to subscribe. We have a ton more Gymshark videos coming your way. Thank you guys for being here. I love you so much and I'll catch you in my next video.